YouTube, I'm back with another update. So, I replaced my 780 Ti's with a single 980, and man, I am blown away. Um, so far, I've done a few Fire Strike runs, and it's stable, but I just wanted to show you guys, you know, how it looks in the case and the performance I'm seeing in game. Um, I've been playing GTA 5 for about half an hour now. Um, let's see if I can back out so I can show you my car. Yeah, this is my car. I'm in. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but I'm in. I'm in. The, I'm in the game about a few hours or so. But anyway, Franklin gets a new place. That's my car. Let's go over here and let's look at this. <clears throat> about 90 frames per second, 1500 megahertz, 65C, 98% core utilization on the right there. Uh, I'm averaging between 90 and 100 frames per second here at 1500 megahertz. It's stable. It's rock solid. Um, this the monitor here is the, what the uh, Rog Swift, and I've made a few changes. Uh, you can avoid a lot of crashes with GTA 5 by simply um, setting uh, was it the uh, power setting to prefer maximum performance. But anyways, let's go on to see how it looks in the um, in the case. Excuse my room, it's pretty messy. Um, yeah. It, this thing is awesome, dude. I'm thinking about just leaving it with the, uh, with the included cooler and not even messing with the uh, G10s. I pulled my 780 Ti's out, and here they are sitting over here. I got both, <laughs> both of them just sitting over here. Um, this thing is absolutely amazing. I'm blown away with... I mean, it's not just the, the performance... But the cooling and the Mac, the, the stability, I, I wasn't sure that I would get away with 1500 megahertz um, with, the, with the stock cooler. Uh, but I am, and I am completely blown away. So, I'm going to run it like this, and if I get an itching for more performance, I might try taking one of the G10 coolers off one of the 780Ti's and put it on here. That should drop my core down to, you know, 50, 50 degrees from... It's, it's between 65 and 70 right now with this cooler. The reason why I'm seeing such good performance is because I have this uh, the side panel fan, which really is bringing in you know ample, fresh, cold air onto the GPU, which is being fed up through the cooler, and it's exhausting out the front here. I basically just, if you've seen my previous videos, I've just, I've just removed the, uh, the AIOs completely. But I am so happy with this setup. Oh my goodness. I mean... SLI is problematic. I, there's games that it doesn't work right, and oh, I'm just blown away. This is a good book, by the way. The Cave in the Light. It's uh, how uh, Plato and Aristotle and their differing views influenced the uh, Western civilization. That's a good book. Anyways, this is it, man. I am loving it, and I'm about to go on and... Uh, Play some Planet Side 2 with a single GPU. Uh, in the past, I've had to disable SLI just to play that game. Because uh, when, when you use any of the vehicles or you fly the aircraft, even if you uh, try to set uh, SLI to single GPU in the control panel, there's still there's a lot of stuttering. You, you, you literally have to completely disable SLI to play that game. But now I don't have to worry about doing that anymore. It's all single GPU. Um, that's it. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to show some video proof of the stability. And the clocks and the temperatures. Let's go look at the temps. Come on, focus. Was it 69? It won't focus, damn it. 63. 63, 1500 megahertz. Yeah, and this is with the default VBIOS with, with the uh, 109 uh, power, uh, power target limit. Well, that's it, folks. I will provide more... Uh, videos once I get everything buttoned up and um, I might even throw one of these G10s on there and see what kind of uh, clocks I can get. I'm willing to bet that, I, that it'll pull down near 1600 megahertz. I'm not even kidding. Because if, if I'm stable at 1500 megahertz you know with with plus 8-7 millivolts with a, with a default cooler and I'm under 70 degrees oh man this thing's got this thing might have damn near 1600 megahertz in it. Oh, a few other bits of information. The ASIC quality on this particular sample was uh, 69.3, and I do have like again I've I have additional voltage uh, plus 87 millivolts, and yeah, that's it. Oh, and it's also um, it passed uh, 
about 10-15 minutes of a uh, unit in heaven uh, with peak uh, peak temperature there of uh, 68 degrees. So if you have a, a really good case, this is the case to get. And it's not uh, it's not really hot in here, but it's not cold either. It's about room temperature today. I'm I'm in uh, Portland, Oregon. It's a sunny day, but uh, as you can tell, I'm in shorts. And it's about, uh, I say about 70, 73 degrees in here. It's not hot, but it's not cold either. So, yeah, about room temperature ambient. This card rocks. I am loving it. All right, guys. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll come up with another video if I throw one of these uh, G10s on there. Thanks for watching.